So that is a really dramatic example of the copper flame test. So what I did is I dissolved a small amount of copper 2 sulfate into water and then mixed that in with a ethanol solution. So when I spray it into the flame, ethanol will burn and generates enough thermal energy for those copper atoms to get excited. But that means that their electrons sort of go out to these excited states. And then when they come back, because it's not very stable being excited. So when they come back to being normal, they emit the energy they gave off, which we see in the form of green light. Let's look at it again. 